Good morning and welcome to The Locker Room. Coach Giggs here and today's message, become solution-minded. Become solution-minded. There are two kinds of people in the world, those who are part of the problem and those who are part of the solution. Which are you? Each of us makes our own choice to be a problem-minded person or a solution-minded person. Folks, it is not what happens to you that matters as much as how you react or respond to each circumstance and situation that comes your way. That, more than anything, determines your success, your response that is, not what actually happened. It's how you respond that really matters. Let me give you an example. When a salesperson misses a sale, they can respond by thinking that there was nothing they could do to make a sale or to think, you know what? If I'd only did it this way. Jesus, I noticed that the spouse was looking the other way. I ignored her. I should have done it. If, if Giggs were here, he might have done this. If Simon was in the house, this is what he might have done. What would so-and-so have done if they were in that situation? This is a solution-minded person. The person that says there's nothing they could have done, they're not looking for solutions. So what about you? When someone resigns from their position, the manager or the leader, the person responsible for this person's career, can think there was nothing they could have done to save this person because they were not coachable, they had a bad attitude, they showed up late, and on it goes. I see this all the time with leaders and managers who don't take any responsibility for the failure of one of their employees. Or what the great ones do is say to themselves, wow, I lost this person. What could I have done different? In fact, in my career, very often early on for many years, I would reach out to the people that I would lose and ask them, what do you think I could have done different? What do you think the company could have done different to keep you? In fact, our company does this. We send out surveys to ask people, why did you leave? And guess what usually the number one reason is? That's right, their boss. You see folks, people don't leave companies, they leave people. And so remember that people don't leave companies, you managers out there. They leave people. Now that's a rough one because you're going to have to take responsibility for everyone in there that fails. And by the way, when a person succeeds, you're going to give them all the credit and take none of it for yourself. This is what leaders do. If your boy or girlfriend breaks up with you, you can respond by getting upset and angry or you could be respond by saying, what happened? What did I do wrong? What could I have done different? This is a solution-minded person. Why did this relationship not work out? What can I learn from it? You see, most people, the average person, tends to blame other people for their problems and setbacks. While there is certainly always some degree of truth in it, The only way that we can grow is to focus on the things that we can do something about, things that are within our control. And so the happiest people in the world are not people without problems. They are people who've simply learned how to solve their own problems. Folks, you can alter dramatically the pattern of your life by altering just slightly the pattern of your thinking. Change from being a problem-minded person to someone and someone who thinks like a victim to a solution-minded individual, someone who takes full responsibility for their lives. Go from a negative thinker to a positive thinker. When things look bleak, you become sad, depressed, upset, uncertain, and negative. But remember, you can change your thinking. We are only, the only creatures, I should say, on planet Earth with that powerful ability. So dwelling on the negative 
only has negative influences on our lives. Conversely, the more positively you think, talk, and act, the more solution-minded you become, the brighter and happier your future will become. And then you'll be living your very best life. Thanks for joining me today, gang, and we'll see you tomorrow in the locker room. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel The Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message? 